In this video, you will discover the right and wrong way to clean a wound. I will reveal to you my secret approach to wounds and this will help you lower infection. And when you approach wounds this way, you can have a better outcome for your wound or your patient. You will discover the right way to approach a patient, the best cleaning products and or tools to use. And also you identify what pattern wound you have. Therefore, it affects how you approach the wound, how you clean the wound and how you decrease infection or contamination. My name is Dr. Casey Brown. I'm a board certified wound care specialist. I've consulted for many nurses, ancillary providers, and other physicians as well. I've helped thousands of patients heal their wounds. I've even helped facilities win awards in wound care excellence. During this segment, feel free to comment or ask questions below. So let's get to the golden nuggets. Let's get to the juicy stuff. First thing, know what kind of wound you'll be dealing with. What do I mean by that? Couple of things you wanna know. You wanna know something about the patient and you wanna know something about the type of wound you're dealing with. Obviously, a wound on a lower extremity like a foot or a wound on a heel or a wound on a buttocks, you're gonna approach it differently. If the patient is laying in bed, you're probably gonna have easier access to the heel and probably easier access to the buttock. If they're sitting up in a chair, that's not a good thing. You probably wanna lay them down or have them stand up so that you can have correct access so that you can view exactly what's going on. A wound on an upper extremity or a chest or if they have on a long sleeve shirt, you're probably gonna to have to take that shirt off, roll the sleeves up. You wanna have excellent lighting and excellent access. So know something about the patient, know something about the wound before you even enter the room or enter the patient's home. It'll help you to go a long way. Positioning, that's number two. It is so important how you position the patient. A, they have to be comfortable. They have to be able to maintain that position so that way you can do the work that you need to do. B, they have to be pain free. They can't be in a position where they're having pain or they're uncomfortable because then they're gonna be uncomfortable. They're gonna want you to rush. You're gonna rush you. You're not gonna deliver quality care. So a couple of things you wanna keep in mind, as I mentioned before, if it's a wound on the buttock or somewhere in the groin area, you want that patient to be in bed. You're gonna have easier access. You're gonna have better viewing and the patient is gonna be comfortable. Lower extremity wounds, it depends. If it's on a leg or a thigh, they can be sitting as long as it's not in the posterior or the back aspect or the thigh or the leg. However, a heel wound, the easiest viewing is for the patient to lay down. If the patient doesn't wanna lay down or go back to bed, then you might have to do some maneuvering to get the best view of a heel wound. So keep in mind, positioning is also very important for you. I mentioned it before, C, be gentle. So, so many times in wound care, we're being gentle, guys. We are being gentle. We're cleaning a wound. We're, we're barely touching it, according to us. However, that wound is exposed and nerve fibers are exposed. So even though we are barely touching the wound or gently cleaning the wound, that patient can not have pain. You never ever want to have your patient in pain. You want to prep them or tell them when you're coming or have them take something to ease the pain or a pain medicine before your visit. So that way it can be a comfortable visit. You don't want to set up the pain pathway to think, oh, wound care equals pain. You never want that association. You never want that relationship. That's going to decrease your outcome. And actually it's going to affect the patient's care because they're not going to want you to take care of them. And even though you're like, I wanna help you to heal, guess what, if they're having pain, that is a no. So keep that in the back of your mind. Let's talk about the equipment. A good wound care provider prepares. So what does that mean? When we approach our patients, when we approach our wounds, we put down a barrier and we put our dressings, our gauze, our saline, our measuring stick, a Q-tip, Whatever we need, we go ahead and put it down before we even start seeing the patient. A better wound care provider also puts down the dressings that they'll need. So if you're gonna need Curlex or some Medi Honey or some Santa or whatever it is, some skin prep, some tape, you wanna have all that prepared before you even start touching the patient. Why? 
This prevents cross-contamination, right? This prevents infection. So a good wound care provider is prepared. You have to think ahead and you have to plan. You have to plan what equipment you'll need and you do your best and after a while with practice, you'll be an expert at it. You do your best and you go ahead and you lay it down. So that way, as you're tending to your patient, you have everything that you need. You don't want to be tending to your patient's wound and have to get up and go run in a room to go get some gauze and come back and you're doing something else and, oh, I don't have tape. You have to de-glove and run in another room to go get tape. You really don't want that type of environment because that is going to set you up for cross-contamination and or infection, okay? Let's talk about the actual cleaning of a wound. There's three things you need to keep in mind. Top to bottom, clean to dirty, concentric circles. Let's say top to bottom, what does that mean? Top to bottom means we always clean a wound from head to toe. If it's a linear wound, as in a line, you're going to clean from head to toe. Remember, the, the dirtiest part of your body, when you think about it, you walk on your feet, right? You walk on your feet. So your head, yes, that's gonna be cleaner. Feet, gonna be dirtier. So linear lines, top to bottom. Concentric circles. Those are for your larger wounds, like your pressure sores or anything, honestly, that's bigger than the size of a dime. You wanna go ahead and clean it in concentric circles, meaning you wanna start cleaning in the center first, and then you work your way to the outside. Just like when you clean with betadine for a surgery or anything like that, you wanna clean your bigger wounds, concentric circles. Lastly, clean to dirty. What do I mean by that? I'm gonna use the perfect example, which is the buttocks. A patient has a wound on the buttocks and for whatever reason, the patient stool themselves. You wanna wipe from the area, obviously, of less poop or the area furthest away from where the poop is, so like the hip, if it's that big of a wound and you want to go ahead and wipe in towards the dirty area so clean to dirty top to bottom clean to dirty why you don't want to wipe from dirty the area closest to the anus out that is going to cause a whole lot more infection than you ever planned on right so you want to go from clean to dirty when you are cleaning your wounds I hope this content shared with you is to your liking. If you think other people can benefit from this video, don't forget to click the share button 